Yesterday we talked about the different ways to make nine, and today we're going to talk about the six different ways that we can make ten. So let's go ahead and look. Let's see how many counters we need to show the number ten. So here we have ten cats. So we're going to count them and see and make sure that we have ten cats. We have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten cats. So this is how many counters that we need to show the number ten. So now we're going to talk about the six different ways that we can show ten using two different groups. So today we're going to be counting cats and dogs. So this is our first way to make ten. We have our groups of cats and our groups of dogs. And I see in my picture that all I have are cats. And that tells me that I don't have any dogs. And remember we talked about when we don't have any of one group, we have zero. So we have zero dogs. But let's count how many cats we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a group, we circle our group, we have a group of ten cats and we have a group of zero dogs because we don't have any dogs in our picture. So now we're going to practice writing our addition sentences. So starting with our number of cats in this one, starting with this addition sentence, we have ten cats plus zero dogs. But all together in our picture, we still have 10 cats or dogs. So 10 plus 0 equals 10. Now let's try the other way. So if we start with our dogs, we have 0 dogs plus 10 cats equals 10 cats or dogs. So 0 plus 10 equals 10. So this is our first way that we can make 10. So let's go on and see a different way to make 10. So we have our cats and our dogs, and now we're going to count up our groups. So counting my dog, I have one dog. So I'm going to circle my group, one dog. And now I'm going to count how many cats I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cats. And so I'm going to go ahead and circle my group of cats. So now I have both of my groups circled. And now I'm going to count how many I have all together. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all together. Okay? So now this is my second way of making ten, is if I have a group of nine, and a group of one, I have 10 all together. So we're, let's practice writing our addition sentences. So if I have nine cats plus one dog, I have 10 all together. And if I have one dog plus nine cats, I still have 10 all together. So another way to make 10 is to have a group of nine and a group of one. So nine plus one equals 10 and one plus nine equals 10. Let's look at our next way of making 10. So let's count our dogs. We're going to count one, two dogs this time. Circle our group of dogs. Let's count our cats. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cats. Eight cats all together. So now I'm going to circle my group of cats. And I know we're making 10, we're making ways of 10, so I know that this is going to be 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know we're making 10, so I should have 10 all together. So this is our next way of making 10. We have a group of 8, we have a group of 2, and together they make 10. So now let's practice writing our addition sentences. So eight cats plus two dogs is 10 altogether. 
or two dogs plus eight cats is 10 altogether. Let's look at our next way. So we have our cats, we have our dogs. I'm gonna count my cats first this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cats. I have seven cats. And I have one, two, three dogs. So I'm gonna circle my group of dogs. And then we're gonna count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten all together still. So our new way of making ten is to have a group of seven plus a group of three, and together they make ten. So let's practice writing our addition sentences. So seven cats plus three dogs equals 10 altogether. Or three dogs plus seven cats equals 10 altogether. So a group of seven and a group of three put together and they make 10. This is our next way to make 10. Let's count our cats again this time. One, two, three, four, five, Six, I have six cats. Circle my group of cats. And then I have one, two, three, four dogs. Four dogs. And together they make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Together they make ten. So a group of six and a group of four makes 10 all together. So now we're gonna write our addition sentences. So we have six cats plus four dogs equals 10 all together. And we have four dogs plus six cats equals 10 all together. So another way to make 10 is to have our group of six plus a group of four or a group of four plus a group of six. It doesn't matter which if you start with the cats or the dogs first, you still have 10 all together. All right, this is our last way to make 10, and I want you to pay attention to what happens when we count up our cats and dogs and when we write our addition sentences. So we talked about this with a couple other numbers about what happens with some of our numbers. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five cats, five cats, and one, two, three, four, five dogs. Hmm, I noticed something already. I have the same number of cats and the same number of dogs. We're gonna make sure that we have 10 all together, but let's keep that in mind. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all together. So a group of five and a group of five makes ten. So let's write our addition sentences. We have five cats plus five dogs equals ten all together. Or five dogs plus five cats equals ten all together. And so we talked about with our number eight, how when we broke up our number eight, we had four plus four to make eight. And now with our number 10, this is another special number like eight. So where when you break it up, you could have two groups that have the same amount. So these have five and five, and when you put them together, they make 10. So if you look at our two addition sentences, they look exactly the same, even though we're counting two different groups in different spots. So with some of our numbers, when you break them up into their groups, they'll have the same number in each group. So five and five to make 10.